I am a silly student playing a game known as Nova Drift. I haven't done a grenade lately. Not going to do polar inversion shockwave shield. Thank you kindly. Let's try Orville. Orbital's always a fun shield to have around. Okay, with Architect we could go Mines. Carrier is lower rate of fire, but we give us support. One of the problems with grenades tends to be that they are slow. Having another way of dealing damage could be useful. Firefly does help us do damage as well. Let's try carrier. We haven't had a good carrier fun build for a bit, and this probably will not be a very good one. But you never know. Could have other things to help us, like allies and mines. Something to consider, but right now I think I just want the bigger blast radius. Good, good. Hmm. I do want this magnitude, but I think I want the revelation more. Bigger blast radius? Could try obsession, but... I don't know if Obsession is going to be that helpful with this build, in this particular circumstance. Rupture does go well with all this other explosion nonsense that we have on screen. Could try Singular Strike for even bigger explosions. Will slow us down even more, and we are already pretty slow. That is the concern with such builds. Comet being a little aggressive today needs to calm down. All right. Just have four grenades instead of one. you. Not exactly how I planned on things going, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Homing would help our grenades actually hit enemies every now and again. 
wobble towards them at least at a slow, leisurely pace. Take to priority zero so we can get down to support specialist, I suppose. Don't know if it's worth all those ogre points, but once again, we're having fun here. Take the Juggernaut, it will slow us down even more. But I would like to try Singular Strike with this build. Try to get some very, very large explosions going. By compressing all of our grenades into one. Velocity wouldn't be horrible, shield stuff wouldn't be bad either, but... So much else we need. I do want magnitude, I do want terminate. Guess we go magnitude for the bigger explosions. Even though there are plenty of enemies that really could use a terminate to help us kill them faster. Take the polar inversion, bigger blast radius, and it pulls enemies towards the center of the explosion of our grenades. Not giving us much time with this wave, Omega. Need to give us a little bit more space, a little room to maneuver. We are so very slow. So very, very slow. Trying to let my swarmlings get a few of these hits for us. Never doubt it for a moment. <sighs> Don't want any specialization. I'll take the armor though. And the larger payload. Lowers our rate of fire, but even bigger explosions. And unlocks singular strike as an option. kill you and the rest will be fairly easy. Velocity's interesting mines might be good, but charge shot will help our explosions be even bigger. And that is, at the end of the day, what we're hoping for. Lots of things we won't hear. We'll take the overclock though. Oh, that's rude. It's very rude. Go enjoy your polar inversion explosions. See what you like about being pushed around by blasts. Mm -hmm. Bet you don't like it, do you? Um, I wouldn't mind absorption for the Rancor if nothing else, but Splinter is pretty good. You want lots of explosions? Well, Splinter puts explosions in your already existent explosions. 
And I say that is worth the price of admission. Wouldn't mind elegant construction, but there's a good old terminate. Come on, lower your shield. There you go. Mind specialist in another world, you would be lovely. But not this one. I'll take the mastery just for even bigger explosions. Rate of fire up would be nice, as would elegant construction to build more swarmlings more faster. That's proper grammar, right? Pretty sure it is. Another chance at Essence Sap, but I think I like the Warpath of the Shield cooldown even more. Even the Galvanic could have some nice little uses here. We are slow after all, so we're going to take hits. And being able to do some revenge damage isn't nothing. Going to have to fight our good friend Scion soon enough. Sure, we can get some mines going. Maybe put on auto deploy mines so that they. I don't have to worry about doing that and the charge shot. Don't think I'm going to give a charge mine though. I think I want to keep. Keep the mines. Keep the charge shot, I should say, for myself. to kill Scion before he can even summon a Singularity. It means our damage output is decent enough, though we were getting helped by the Polar Inversion. And now it's time for proof of concept. I used to have four grenades, one base, three twin strikes. They're all going to be fused into one. And it will also gain plus 50% damage, size, and blast radius. Let's see how this goes. Now once fully charged, our little splinter grenades are about as big as our normal grenades used to be. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Take the loaded mines, so now our mines will actually detonate and throw around some explosions of their own. Maybe I should get Warp Strike. Just for those eventualities right there. The only problem is with Singular Strike is that we don't have as many grenades, so if we miss with one, well, we miss. One mind the absorption for Rancor, though it will slow us down even more. We survived, the enemy did not. That's acceptable to me.
That's a lot of explosions. From a lot of things. Another twin strike. How far can we afford to go? I'm not certain, but we're going to try it nonetheless. Probably need to start getting some more defensive mines, though. Yep, that was a tough fight. Hmm, bravado. Probably not that useful. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, with us. Yeah, it's not all that big, is it? Could go down to core shielding. That does sound better. Galvanic, faster shield cooldown. Stabilization does help us with our thrust. I wouldn't mind doing something to speed us up. But I think I want some armor improvements. Oh yeah, our explosions are pretty big now. the most dangerous celestial, but killing one is better than not killing any at all. I will take support specialist. Both our mines and our swarmlings are basic constructs instead of standard or advanced, so we don't take any hull or shield penalty. We just get faster assembly speed and rate of fire. Guidance is also somewhat interesting to me here, just for a little bit better targeting, but I think the support specialist is going to be far better with our current setup. Just letting our swarms do more damage and build faster, along with our mines. Don't forget that our mines also build faster now. Homing strike is more explosions, I suppose, but I think I take the shield durability in this case. Perhaps good timing on that part. And now we fight our good friend Seraph. Hi, Seraph. Look at you. Never mind, don't look at you after all. Oh yeah. Our explosion's pretty big. Pretty big now. I do like blitz. I also want improved thrust, kinetic, shield. Our damage is good enough. We need speed. I wouldn't mind blitz. More damage is better after all, but... I need the speed. We're just way too slow. If we didn't have the damage output to kill Seraph so quickly there, we would be in a great deal of trouble. Thankfully, we did have that damage, but as the enemy scales, our damage is not going to scale anywhere near as fast. So we need to be able to at least avoid a few things the enemy throws at us from time to time. Strange concept, I understand, but... We do want to avoid a few bits and bobs here and there. Glad to see a boost here. One of the few times the speed increase from boost actually feels good instead of a little overwhelming, a little too much to readily compensate for right off the bat. Which shows you how very slow I have been. Oh yes. 
Lovely. Don't want that. Do want galvanic, do want stabilization. I think we go with stabilization. Just for a little bit more speed and control. interesting burst fire is a maybe give it a shot does improve our rate of fire though it does add a delay between each shot but maybe this will help ouch that was a nasty almost quite deadly bulwark but I do like the idea of having three shots. I do want the agility and the power reserves, but core shielding is a nice little increase to armor and shield and hull health. Things we are all very interested in, for obvious enough reasons. I do like how I'm able to now scatter a few shots about more easily. Nope, that was almost deadly yet again. need to make sure we have enough explosions to cut through all that. Uh, we are not going to do Omni Shield. Death Blossom isn't crazy here. More explosions when our shield breaks. Galvanic also isn't horrible. doing, but I guess all we need to know is, are we covering the area in explosions? And if not, why not? I like your go get em attitude comment. If first you don't succeed, try, try again. That is a way of increasing our rate of fire, though the self damage could be a little overwhelming. Homing strike is more explosions. And with the burst fire effect, it could help cover the area near us.
I am enjoying these massive explosions. Normally, I would not be able to clear the area anywhere near as effectively. The main problem is I cannot see very well sometimes. We sort of have to hope the enemy dies, otherwise I might just run right into them trying to escape a different enemy that I actually do see. I'll finally take this elegant construction. Build these mines faster, build the swarmlings faster, give them a little more hull. Okay, what else do we need here? Another thing that I appreciate about Burst Fire here is that with Swarm Spawners, even if the first or second grenade gets destroyed by the swarm, there's a decent chance of the third getting in there. take the shield cooldown. A bit boring, but now that we have Death Blossom, we have even more reason to want our shield to come back. And it's just nice to have. dead. I see. Ah, well. That's the ups and downs of living. I do want this if power reserves, blitz, agility, even velocity is nice for the damage if nothing else. like shielded tracers though. Shielded tracers, not my favorite. Death blossom, death blossoming, as one would expect. so slowly, wearing it down.
I'll take those essence out. Faster hull healing, as long as we can keep damaging enemies. remember breathing proper motion all that good stuff uh, I don't know what to do in that situation <laughs> get blink before you get into that situation that's what you do in that situation get blink or strafe Retribution. Okay, boost is some damage at least. Oh dear. Yeah. I knew as soon as I did that, I was probably dead. <laughs> that was a fun one though. Having four twin strikes to put into a singular strike. That meant for some very large explosions. And even normally when I do this build without these twin strikes. I don't have enough radius in my explosions to really cover a side of the screen. That fixed that problem very easily, these twin strikes. So that is good to know. For now, however, I shall thank you all for stopping by.